In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at another optimization we can use in Python. And this has to do with the use of modules and classes and so on. So in general, let's pretend we want to get a random number from random. We just say we want a number and that's going to take random dot random. And this is perfectly fine. If we go ahead and print number, everything's going to work perfectly fine. It's going to give us that random number and it's going to work smoothly. But let's pretend we want to have a thousand random numbers. So for i in range 1000, we're going to go ahead and create a thousand random numbers. And let's not print that because that will be silly. But if we run that, it's going to generate a thousand numbers and it's going to finish with the exit code of zero, which means we've completed the program successfully. But there's a major issue we have here. And this is the concept of dot notation. So the concept I want to go over here is why we should avoid this dot notation and how we can avoid it in certain scenarios. So for this example, I went ahead and created a script that can demonstrate why we should avoid dot notation, especially in for loops, if we can. Now, this is not to say you should avoid it everywhere. Just if you want to optimize your code, it's very important we avoid using dot notation. So I went ahead and created two tests. The first test uses dot notation to access the random method and test number two creates a reference to the random method so that we can just call it. Now, if we go ahead and run these tests, one is going to perform on the dot notation and one's going to perform on the regular calling method. And when we get the results, you'll notice that reference is a lot faster than using dot notation. And the reason is that every time we use the dot notation, it calls a method under the hood, which searches for that function. So it has to search for this each time it's looping. While when we have a direct reference, it doesn't have to search for it more than once. It just calls it because we have the reference to it. And another way to achieve this, of course, is to import it directly. So from random, import random would be an equivalent to just calling random dot random. And it's a very subtle detail that can change how fast your code goes. So it's definitely something you should keep into account. Although I would not worry about this if you have a simple script that takes a few seconds to execute and scrape emails, for example, I wouldn't worry about this optimization. But when you have lots of loops and lots of iterations, this could be something that could really save you a lot of time. So just keep into account that using dot notation does call a special method under the hood for Python to search for that method. And that is an expensive operation. And we can run that one more time and we'll still get the same results. We'll get that the dot notation is much slower than the reference. As you can see here, still around 42% faster although this might change depending on which Python version you are running. Just for fun, we can go ahead and try this in Python 3.11 since they have a lot of optimizations there. And just by pasting this in and running the script, we can find out whether it's faster or not. So in Python 3.11, it seems there is a major performance improvements with the dot notation. So it's not as big as from earlier. And we can try running that one more time and we still get around 15% faster. So it really depends also on the Python version you are using. Python 3.11 is a lot faster in general, so it's not going to be as big of an improvement, but for the earlier versions, it's definitely a major optimization.